Oh, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Born Fighters is this year's campaign theme for Heart Kids New Zealand. It features some of the incredible heroes living with childhood heart conditions that the not-for-profit organisation has helped. The amazing eight-year-old Leighton Levard is one of them, and he joins us now along with his mum, Roberta. Welcome, you two. Welcome. <laughs> So nice to have you here. Um, I want to I want to show everybody what's in this magazine in a moment, Leighton. But first, uh, you're a pretty awesome kid. You're an actor, but you're also a junior dragster champion as well. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. What do you love about it? Um, I love to race um, with my mum because she used to do racing, so that's how I got into it. But I love to do it because um, my whole family used to do it. Yeah, oh cool, it's a great thing to do. And it's good to do sports with your mum as well. Yes. And is that, is it, did you drag him into it or did you drag. find a natural ability? <laughs> yeah. uh, he has grown up around drag racing, so I used to take him down while I helped work on a friend's um, pro street drag bike. So I used to take the cot along and put him in the back of the trailer and he would have his sleep while he was a baby. He used to carry his little teddy bear around walking around the track. So he's, he's grown up at the track and Inevitably, that's what he wants to do is race. Love Perfect. It. Yeah. Actually, I should show. I should show you this. I hope you can zoom in on this. This is because not only are you a dragster, but you also are an actor as well. And I don't know if you can zoom in on the top picture there. That is Leighton and Oprah Winfrey. And if you go down the bottom there, there's the dragster. Uh, and there's Reese with a spoon as well. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Hanging out with all the cool kids because you were uh, on. You managed to get a role on A Wrinkle in Time. What was all that about? How did that work? Well, so. When I done that, I got into doing that because um, they do, they let, they asked my mum if I wanted to do it, so she she said I was available or not available, so she put available and we got chosen. So, right, so you, were, went, you yep. were a stunt double, were you? Um, I was actually a body double, I think. Yeah, a body double that um, I played for Charles Wallace in. The movie because you look just like her but now obviously you've got the bug as well haven't you what was it like meeting Oprah because she's a very big deal um was she lovely yes was she Roberta was she not did you get to meet her too yes she was very nice they were all very accommodating um Reese was the she was the nicest one she uh, kept walking over and coming and uh, conversating with me oh. um oh. Oprah was a lot busier and uh, everybody Oprah. everybody <laughs> wanted to see Oprah yeah but Reese she would just walk up and hang out with you Oh, nice. Now, they'll never hear this, Leighton, but if you had to pick one to hang out with, would it be Reese or would it be Oprah? Um, I would probably say Oprah. OK, yeah, oh, cool. why not? Um, Roberta, can you tell me a little bit about Leighton's heart condition? Um, there are instances where there'd be some quite dramatic things happen, wouldn't there? Uh, so, Leighton was quite sick while he was young. Mm -hmm. um, as a baby, he was in and out of hospital, a and doctors, everything, you name it. Um, I wasn't quite sure what was wrong, anything from eczema to asthma and eventually it was accidentally found that he had a heart condition. Um, so Leighton has what's called an AVM, it's an arteriovenous malformation. And the specialist said that if it wasn't found uh, when he's a teenager, the more sport that he um, decided to become involved in, that eventually his heart would have given up. And he would turn um, blue and things at times. He would quite often turn blue, his hands, his feet. He was actually born quite blue, but I didn't think much of it then. Um, it's, I think it's just a mother's intuition when something's not right. So you just, you know, have to keep taking them back and ask what's wrong and, yeah. Well, on that, how has Heart Kids helped? Uh, heart Kids are amazing. Um, they unfortunately don't receive any government funding, so they support so many families around the country. Um, there's 12, week, 12 babies born every week with a heart condition. Wow. Wow. And I think on the back of that, the more that living becomes um, quite costly, your lower income families are overcrowded, so there's the risk of getting rheumatic fever, which can lead to heart conditions as well. Um, so it's amazing that heart kids have got that support there for the families um, near and far from mm. all walks of life. They're incredible. Um, Leighton, just quickly, what would you want to say about heart kids? Um, I, I have to say a um, big thank you to the people that's getting me do all this. 
Awesome. That's ah, cool. You well, thank awesome. you so much for joining us and yes. good luck looking forward to seeing you on the screen soon. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah. Uh, this is Heart Kids Appeal Week. To find out more about Heart Kids and to donate or to find out how you can get involved, check out their website heartkids.org.nz or jump onto their Facebook page.